guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today on how to care for your leather soccer cleats. I get two very commonly asked questions around this particular topic. The first question being where do I buy leather cream and the second question is once I have the leather cream how do I actually apply it? The first question, where do I buy it? I have a buy it now link down below in the description of this video. It will be the first link in the description. And basically it's a link to buy some leather cream for yourself. Pretty good sized jar for about five or six dollars. Really good value and it definitely will get the job done for you if you're having trouble finding leather cream um, at a local store or something like that. So again, that link to buy it is down below in the description of this video. Second question, how do I apply the leather cream? That's what this video slash tutorial is more or less going to answer for you. We're going to talk about one, how you actually apply it, and two, what it actually does. Now keep in mind in this video I will be using a pair of Nike Premiers, but the rules more or less stay the same no matter which shoe it is. As long as it's made from leather, the same rules and the same steps apply. So just keep that in mind. So with all that being said, let's get right into the video. So to answer the first question, why do you use leather cream in the first place? What does it actually do? If you think of a leather soccer shoe, essentially what leather is, is the skin of an animal. And like your own skin, it requires hydration every once in a while to stay as soft as possible. Now, uh, when you buy a brand new pair of leather soccer cleats, you're gonna notice that the leather is very soft from right out of the box. The finish is perfect, nothing is wrong with it. It's perfectly treated, doesn't require anything from you to be done whatsoever. Now, two, three, four, five weeks down the line, once the shoes have been exposed to the elements, dirt, mud, rain, snow sometimes, um, the leather you'll find will begin to harden up a little. And it's not the fault of the wearer, it's just something that's going to happen. It's a natural material. So you use leather cream, you apply leather cream, almost as a hydration process for the leather itself. It's going to rehydrate the leather, it's gonna make it a little bit more soft, and it's also going to kind of provide a protective finish on the upper itself, which you guys will see in just a second. So that is the main reason why you would apply leather cream. It's more or less to maintain the softness of the leather. For anybody who's worn a pair of leather shoes and never done anything to them, you'll find that several months down the line, the leather will almost start to become very, very crusty. And that's simply because the skin itself is actually drying out because you haven't applied any type of uh, hydration type of additive after the fact. So again, just keep in mind that all leather cream is doing is rehydrating the leather and it's only something that you need to do every once in a while. All right, you're gonna need three things to treat your shoes. The first piece is of course the leather cream itself. Now this is the leather cream that I have, it's more of an actual cream. Other variations may be a little bit more like a soft wax. Um, really it doesn't make much of a difference, they all do the same thing. Next, you're gonna need a small little cloth. This is what I have right here. Again, any cloth will do. There's nothing specific that you necessarily need to buy other than the leather cream itself. And then, of course, you're going to need your shoes, which should, of course, be made from a natural leather material. You do not need to apply leather cream to any kind of synthetic. And in fact, it won't actually do anything at all other than just make a mess. The reason why you apply leather cream to actual leather is because the actual leather will absorb the cream itself, making it softer. Synthetic materials will not absorb the leather cream, so like I said, you're just making a mess and not helping the shoe whatsoever. Applying the leather cream is also very, very straightforward. First of all, you wanna make sure that the shoe you're applying it to is 100% dry and cleaned. Don't apply leather cream to a dirty shoe. Again, you're just gonna make a big mess. So make sure your shoe is clean, grab your leather cream, and then take, of course, your cloth, and all you're gonna do, you don't need a lot of cream here, all you're gonna do is just dip the cloth in there. See, I'm just putting a little bit, just so it's covering, just, that's all you need. You don't need more than that. You're gonna grab your shoe, and you're gonna start basically rubbing in. I think of leather cream as actual cream like you would put on yourself. You're just gonna have to rub it in until it kind of absorbs into the leather. You don't wanna put so much where it's this big giant gob um, and it's just gonna be impossible to kind of disperse across the shoe. And basically all you're gonna do is just get that nice kind of top layer very, very thin and you're gonna rub it in until the cream is basically gone. Don't worry about it getting in the stitching. That's something that's pretty unavoidable. And once the cream dries up, it will be completely gone. So all you're gonna do is basically just rub it in uh, one area at a time. Don't try and do a whole bunch because like I said, it's gonna be difficult to manage and you're just gonna make a big mess. 
and you can see that I've just after a, about a minute or so of rubbing it in in the toe area it's pretty much fully absorbed into the shoe and there's not much else that I need to do I'm just going to work on another area so again I'll just grab a little bit of cream right there and we'll move on to the inside of the forefoot area and again we're just going to rub it in very very simple you can see I probably added a little bit too much there but again not a big issue just keep rubbing it in and it will eventually absorb and that's pretty much it guys that is how you apply leather cream it's uh, not much more complicated than that just kind of take your time and don't worry about if like I said the cream gets in the stitching it's something that is unavoidable and it will go away once the shoe has dried a little bit and trust me when I say applying this leather cream will definitely make a noticeable difference in terms of how soft the leather is before and after applying the cream itself here's just a quick little before and after shot of the Nike premieres this is what they look like prior to applying any kind of leather cream and here's what they look after the fact so you can see that right off the bat there is a difference visually uh, this, this has that nice kind of like new shiny finish about it which to me looks really really good and in terms of the feel of the leather itself it is noticeably softer after applying the leather cream as opposed to a Nike Premier that has gone untreated for a little while so again what you're essentially doing is rehydrating the leather and more or less refinishing the outside of the shoe which not only makes it look better but it is supposed to also help with protecting the material itself all right guys that's it for pretty much everything you need to know about leather cream just to do a quick recap make sure that your shoes are one dry and two cleaned before you apply any kind of leather cream when you're applying the leather cream itself don't use huge amounts do it a little bit at a time and you can always add more if you need it do it very very slowly otherwise you're just going to end up making a very big mess um, also once you've applied the leather cream and you've rubbed it in efficiently just let the shoes sit for a couple of hours don't wear them right away just allow that leather cream to soak into the upper um, and more or less dry basically um, but that's pretty much it though guys again keep in mind that this is something that you only need to do for leather soccer shoes doing this to a synthetic boot will not only do nothing it will just cause a really big mess um, it won't hurt the shoes but like I said it'll make a mess uh, but that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more tutorials be sure to support this video with a like and also if you have any suggestions for other types of maintenance type of tutorials or suggestions for any videos at all feel free to leave a comment down below um, I definitely like to hear your suggestions and take a lot of consideration into what you guys have to say as far as producing future videos and the content in general on this channel also if you have any questions regarding any of the topics discussed in today's video again leave a comment and I will get an answer out to you um, if you're not subscribed already be sure to hit that subscribe button for daily videos Videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear you can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well and other than that guys hope you enjoyed today's video and as always thanks for watching